Good morning, guys. I am heading out to go shut the gate into the slough, shut the gate out the back, and, or into the outback, and then we're gonna let the girls out. They have, no, I think I have all the holes fixed, and I can kind of keep an eye on stuff while I'm home this morning. Uh, my day is going to be spent probably in the office getting some billing done and working on some breeding groups, some selling groups, and there is a sale tomorrow, but we're not going. With this being the sale just after the fair, anybody whose animals didn't make weight or didn't um, sell and they haven't found another home for it or they're not keeping it for themselves are all going to be at the sale tomorrow. So it is a good sale if you're going to buy because there's going to be a lot of stuff there and it's usually prices are pretty fairly cheap because there is so much stuff. But if you're going to go sell for like me, not a good idea. Um, if I want 25 bucks for a sheep, I'll just keep it for myself. Yeah, it's, uh, we've made that mistake before. We won't do it again. So we will not be selling tomorrow, but I do. So it'll be two more weeks before we get, well, let's see. I will have to think about that because this sale was supposed to be last week, but they canceled it because of Labor Day. Boy, I gotta trim that tree. Uh, so I don't know if they're gonna have a sale back to back and do one next week, or if they're going to skip a week. I will have to double check their website and see what their schedule is. So the next sale, whether that be next week or the week after, is when I'm going to have to take some stuff to the sale, unfortunately. I'm trying really hard not to think about it because I I don't wanna. I just don't wanna, but unfortunately I have no choice this year. So let me go shut this gate and then uh, we'll go let the girls out. Well, I feel about that big right now. Ignore my dogs. They're pissed at the neighbor dogs. One of these days that fence is gonna break and somebody's gonna end up dead. And I'm not really sure who instigates it. But besides the point, I have a ewe with a very, 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 very bad leg. Kinda like that one that I brought in right. a week or two ago. I don't think there's any save in this lamb. So, um, I really, oh, I don't even want to show it to you. I am, I got to get her in. I got to get her. I, I, something apparently got into the sheep, but it's only going after the lambs. It's the same leg. It's the same spot. I don't even know what to tell you it could be. Um, that could be my dogs for all I know. I mean, it, it, I, I honestly, I have no clue. It looks like it's a dog bite, coyote bite, fox bite, canine bite of some sort. And, uh, so I'm going to, um, grab her, take her into the barn. I don't know how I didn't see it until today. It, it had to have happened like the day she, we brought this flock in because it's still bleeding. And now why are you limping? This is the only drawback I have with having stuff out on pasture is that, hello sweet girl, is that, um, things happen and I'm not always there to see what happens. If I had them closer to the barn where I was seeing them every single day, rather than just kind of doing a sweep of them in the mornings. Hi, 
Yeah, you're a sweetheart. Then I could probably see more and pay attention more. Yep, this is 100% on me. So that's the U. You can see this back leg. It is broken. It is dragging. Um, how I didn't notice it in the last three days while they've been in here, I don't know. So I'm going to catch her and uh, see what I can do. That leg is, um, it's literally hanging on by leg threads. It is, uh, I'm gonna have to put her down. Um, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Okay, I'll be back. Good thing I came out here because just found another hole. God dang it. Stupid sheep. Okay, so I, I need to find another panel and um, push them back this way again. Let's see, I wonder if it'd be easier to open the gate on the other end and send them out that way and hope they don't go across the creek. This is where I need two of these to keep this group in and bring this group in. Come on, girls! I'm hoping I can get a group that's not supposed to be out around here. No, don't go through the creek. Well, that didn't work. They just blew ass down the creek. So now they're in the neighbor's field. So I gotta go shut this gate, go open another gate, go all the way around. Oh, and I was having such a lovely day to begin with. I just strung a piece of fence across. They're going through down here and then jumping what's fallen down here. So that will at least keep them from beating me back through it. So I'm gonna go open this gate and then we're going to push them back in and uh, Hope I don't lose my ever-loving mind today. And I forgot I need to bring a T-post because the wind storms keep blowing this fence down. It's like herding cats. and go in the gate because I lost a bunch in the creek that I'm sure we're going through one of the holes that I fixed yesterday or was it the day before come on girls <clears throat> come on seriously you actually have green grass on our side but you want to eat the weeds come on
Good morning. Where's your other and your baby? Oh, there's the other. So where's the baby? There's the other. Kind of thinking I should have brought two T posts. Um, I didn't realize this fence. What is as loose as it is and as down as it is, it really needs to kind of stood up. So that's a that's a fairly easy jumping point. Poor man's tea post. That at least gets it stood up a little bit better. So let's hope that's a win. Found the group that went down into the creek. I kept thinking maybe they came because I never saw them. Never saw them, never saw them, never saw them. And they really don't want to come out of there. And then as I was finished up tying up another gate that I saw that was down. If they jump this cattle guard, I gotta put a fence up. I'm hoping they'll dive down, although that gate isn't open, so I'd have to go open it. Okay. All sheep, I think, are accounted for. They are over there. And I have my second wasp sting of um, probably the last 10 years. This whole gate is full of wasps. And it, I didn't realize it. So the gate is shut now. It took me a while. I had to like shove it a couple of inches and then run like hell. But um, it is shut, it is not latched because I can't get to the latch because um, I really don't wanna get stung again, so. But all the sheep are in and I am gonna go do lunch. I had to run into town, pick my husband up from work and we are <laughs> We're gonna go get some guinea hens. I guess two hens and a rooster. I don't really know why, to be honest with you. I'm not a fan. And um, he decided we needed them. Oh, I was hiding my knife so that you could open it. Just let them come out on their own? I thought so. Okay. They'll come out eventually. We'll throw some food down for him. One, two, three. Oh, don't chase them. So those are the two hens. Yep, he's the rooster. And he's the rooster. And all I told her was I wanted a pie bowl. Okay. So that's what they are. Kind of funny looking. Guineas.
because we didn't have enough noisy stuff around.